Our roads are packed with cars that blend into the background, rarely catching our attention. This means that if you want to stand out and showcase your financial status or personality, you need something truly unique and extraordinary. To give you a glimpse of such vehicles, here's a list of the weirdest and most unusual car designs ever created. You probably haven't seen cars like these before, and it's sure to captivate you. The 1956 Viberti Golden Dolphin was a visionary plastic bus prototype from Turin, Italy. Named for its golden yellow paint and dolphin-like shape, it featured a tail fin for stability. Powered by a revolutionary gas turbine engine, it could cruise at 125 miles per hour or 200 kilometers per hour. Designed for comfort, it offered versions with 18 or 32 seats huge panoramic windows, and modern amenities like a toilet, kitchen, and radio system. Despite its innovative design and impressive features, the Golden Dolphin never went into production, as consumers were wary of its capabilities and the challenges of implementing its groundbreaking technology. Nevertheless, it remains an enduring symbol of transportation innovation and the boundless creativity that fuels progress in this field. Not all good things are attractive or successful. Before safety vehicles were common, a Pennsylvania priest, Father Alfred Giuliano, designed what he believed was the safest car in the world. The Aurora concept, also known as the Aurora safety car, was an intriguing piece of American automotive history. Despite its title as the world's safest car, Aurora was notoriously ugly. Built using a 1953 Buick chassis, it featured a wooden frame, fiberglass body, shatterproof windows, and a removable roof. Safety innovations included seat belts, a roll cage, shock absorbing bumpers, and crumple zones. However, Aurora's debut in 1957 was a disaster. The car broke down repeatedly en route to its unveiling. The media ridiculed Giuliano, overshadowing the car's groundbreaking safety features. With no orders placed, the project bankrupted Giuliano, who faced accusations of misappropriating church funds. Spain might not be the first place you'd think of when it comes to supercars, but the Tramontana R is an exception with its impressive race car inspired performance and unique appearance. This car weighs about 2,800 pounds and is made almost entirely of carbon fiber, making it incredibly fast. Its twin-turbo Mercedes V8 engine generates 720 horsepower, enabling the Tramontana R to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds, and it offers excellent handling. Visually, the car is a peculiar blend of a Formula One racer, an alien spaceship, and an insect. Panas is a relatively unknown, low-volume sports car manufacturer from the USA. Known for producing high-performance race cars and uniquely eccentric road-going sports cars, 
Among their creations is the Abruzzi, which might just be the ugliest performance car ever made. Introduced in 2010, the Abruzzi was inspired by the spirit of Le Mans and planned for a limited production run of 81 units, one for each year the 24 hours of Le Mans had been held. Aerodynamically optimized and designed as a race car suitable for the road, the Abruzzi boasts a 640 horsepower V8 engine, making it impressively fast. However, its wide mouth, alien-like appearance is notably unattractive, although it looks somewhat better in its race car form, even if it still falls short of being considered beautiful. Worth-based Reliant capitalized on this, producing models like the Regal, Rialto, and most famously, Known for its quirky appearance, the Messerschmitt captivated thousands across Europe. This bubble-shaped, three-wheeled car, popular in the late 1950s and early 1960s, came in models like the KR175 and KR200. Approximately 40,000 units were sold from 1956 to 1964. Initially an aircraft manufacturer, Messerschmitt shifted to microcars after World War II. The bubble car, inspired by Fritz Fenn's three-wheeled Fenn Flitzer, featured an aircraft-like design with a canopy top and tandem seating. Despite its brief production run, the Messerschmitt bubble car established a unique niche in the automotive industry, charming enthusiasts even today. If you happen to see this trim little buggy zoom up and quickly swing into a tight parking spot, you'll be looking at a remarkable new car, the Davis three-wheeler. With four seated comfortably, it takes off. Glenn Gordon Gary Davis was an industrial designer who bought a small three-wheeled race car after World War II, thinking it could be a practical economy car. This likely became the first Davis prototype, the Davis Devon, inspired by aircraft technology, had 16 running vehicles built, two prototypes, 11 Devons, and three military jeeps. At 15 feet long, it was large for a three-wheeler, seating for people side by side on a single bench. Despite selling franchises nationwide, production never began, leading to the demise of Davis Motor Car Company due to financial irregularities. The prototype cars were given to creditors. Father boy. Goodbye, father. Don't be too lonely. I'm sorry. Well, better go in. Oh. Tell your mother, my boy. Tell your mother. The Phantom Corsair, introduced in 1938, one of the weirdest automotive designs ever made. Designed by Rust Hines of the famous condiment family, it envisioned an American supercar. The car was meant for a limited run, priced at $15,000, but this was problematic due to the Great Depression. The prototype, a two-door sedan seating six, featured a sleek, aerodynamic shape and advanced technology, including electric push-button doors, safety glass, and a sophisticated instrument panel. This project cost $24,000. Heinz's parents initially disapproved, 
but his aunt funded it. Unfortunately, Heinz's death in 1939 ended the project. The Corsair appeared in the 1938 film The Young in Heart and now resides in the National Automobile Museum in Reno, Nevada, as a testament to its futuristic design and historical significance. In 1951, General Motors revolutionized the concept car with Holly Earl's Les Aber. Built on a Buick chassis, this two-door convertible featured an aluminum body only 914 millimeters high, blending jet fighter elements with traditional automotive design. Named after the F-86 Sabre jet, it had a jet engine-inspired front air intake and a stylized rear outlet duct. Its tail fins housed dual fuel tanks for its experimental V8 engine. The car boasted a wraparound windscreen, aircraft-like instrumentation, and electric motors for seat adjustment and roof operation. Debuted in 1949, the Les Aber was a star at the 1953 Motorama and was used by Earl and loaned to General Eisenhower. The name Pininfarina is synonymous with luxurious Italian sports cars, such as the Maserati Gran Turismo, Alfa Romeo Spider, and iconic Ferraris like the 365 GTB4, Inzo, F40, and Testarossa. The Pininfarina X, however, stands out as one of the weirdest, most unique, and aerodynamic cars ever. This compact four-seater features a diamond-shaped wheel arrangement with a drag coefficient of 0.23. The cruciform design includes a front steering wheel, a rear driving wheel, and two outrigger wheels behind the doors. Powered by a rear-mounted 1089cc Fiat engine producing 43 horsepower, the Pininfarina X showcases innovative design and engineering, stabilized by prominent rear fins, 